I live in the in-between. I look right, and there she is, with rosy cheeks, a sunshine of possibility in her honey brown eyes, and a contagious curiosity to understand herself within her new world. I look left, and there they are, with overpowering and beautiful lines of untold stories, eyes that carry loads of happiness and confusion, and a pain for the displacement they felt due to losing their ability to navigate their world as they once did. Living in the in-between has helped me realize that I am neither here nor there. It puts the partiality of my knowledge into perspective and ignites my commitment to being a lifelong learner. It anchors the meaning of my social work action. In the just practice model, the process of action and accompaniment means honoring the human agency of all participants in the process. Action simultaneously encompasses the personal and the political, doing and becoming, the grounded work and the transformational potential. The just practice concept of meaning brings attention to the subjective nature of understanding and making sense of the world. It helps me unload the impact of positionality. It helps me recognize that I do this for those who struggle to understand themselves outside the boxes of oppression, stereotypes, stigma, and deficit thinking. Working with older adults has challenged me to understand that people are not their age, income level, or disability. People are not defined by the things they are not. People are the richness of their experiences. They are every cry of frustration. They are the things that they passionately believe in. They are the fire of knowledge and love that burns inside of them. As a social worker, I owe it to them to help them achieve this realization. I fight to uphold the social work ethic of self-determination to the highest degree. The NASW Code of Ethics defines self-determination as a process that assists people understand and implement their self-agency. However, this is not a linear journey as they have to be in a place to reach this important threshold of understanding. But with undying commitment, I will try, with compassion to empower them to find the curiosity of finding themselves in the same world, but with different possibilities and limitations. I do this for Camila, for someone else's Camila, and for the population that Camila will grow a part of in the future. While I don't belong to anyone, I am accountable to many, I live in the in-between. I am neither here nor there. I belong in the spirit of empathy and understanding.